Hey, what's up guys? Lego Kid here and I'm back with yet another set review video today. And here in front of me, I have the new Lego Star Wars 2022 the Razor Crest Micro Fighter. This set here is set number 75321. This set also contains uh, 98 pieces and retails for about $10 in US and also contains one minifigure, that being the Mandalorian. So I actually got this set about a day ago at Walmart. So let's go ahead and begin the speed build. Now that we're done with the building, let's go ahead and begin the set review starting off with the minifig. The only minifigure that got included in this set is Mando from the Mandalorian series on Disney+. Plus, And nothing is really new in particular about this guy. I mean, this time around he does come with his new jetpack mold, uh, which I believe this piece also comes around in the Mandalorian Forge probably. And the helmet piece isn't new either. And the face printing isn't new as well because it's basically the same old um, black coloring. I mean, I guess LEGO just doesn't want to give away any details to the show. And yeah, like I said, the torso printing isn't new. It still has the same old Beskar ch chest plate, the shoulder pads, and also the strap going around the chest and the waist. And that's pretty much it for the minifigure. I also forgot to mention that in this set, LEGO included a blaster for Mando uh, as an accessory. Moving on to the main build here, we have the micro version of the Razor Crest. So starting off at the front, we have two new uh, launcher molds at the sides, and these are new pieces for 2022. And they work pretty much the same way as the old blaster. So what you do is you press down at the sides, and these uh, translucent red studs go flying. It's there just to represent some blasting or shooting effects, really. And you can just pop them back in there like that. And at the back, there is a storage compartment where you can fit Mando's blaster or gun, if that. There's really not that much room back there. So, yeah, you can only fit his gun and his jetpack. You'll just have to 
um, put in the cockpit with them. And speaking of which, up at the front, here is a control panel or dashboard. It isn't a new uh, print or new piece for this set. It's the old 2018 uh, print dashboard print, really. And there's none really else much I have to say about this microfighter. And at the sides here are the um, jet engines. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the build itself. But if I was to do something different about this build, I'd probably remodel it so that way there is actually some more space at the back. And you can maybe fit like some more weapons in there if that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, honestly, it's a good looking build for a Razor Crest, but I'd probably remodel it in one or two different ways to make it look better. So, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the box art and the instruction booklet. For the box art, it's the typical and basic $10 box size with the, um, set information at the front, and here's the main action shot of the set. And at the back, there's some more, um, feature shots, I guess, with the launcher and also the storage compartment, too. And for the instruction booklet, at the front, here is a barcode to scan at the bottom just to pull up the digital instruction booklet. And at the very back, there is an advertisement for some more 2022 sets with the uh, AT-AT and then the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. And there's also an advertisement for the new LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga video game. And that actually looks pretty interesting. And here's all the pieces listed. And that's it. So overall, if I was to ever rate this set, I'd probably give it like a 8 out of 10. For one thing, the detailing and the lack of space for the storage compartment in the Razor Crest. And um, other than that, the Razor Crest would be perfectly fine. But the minifigure, uh, another thing is like the looks for him are not new with the torso print and leg printing. It's basically the same version of this guy we got back in the Trouble on Tatooine set from two years ago, probably. But either way, this set is pretty um average, I'd say. I mean, I'd still keep it and put it on display in my collection. I'll probably remodel the Razor Crest, well, this microfighter Razor Crest to make the storage compartment or hanger a lot more bigger and um, have more space to it. So anyways, that is it for uh, today's set review video. Please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you all in the next one.